Hi everybody. It's Elizabeth. Um, it's a Tuesday afternoon and I just got my first low carb haul from Amazon and there was a couple things I wanted to show you guys. I'm going to start over here. I placed an order on um, Walmart.com which took like two weeks. I haven't got that yet. And at the same time I placed this order on Amazon. Um, a lot of this stuff I got with Amazon uh, Prime Pantry. You get things that are pretty cheap. Like this was like $2.30. This reduced sugar um, strawberry spread. And so it's a little bit cheaper than Walmart. And you pay a $5.99 like a standard shipping fee for anything Prime Pantry. And you can fill up your box. Um, most of this stuff I got with either Prime Pantry or Prime. And if you don't know, Amazon Prime, I think you pay $70 a year. And if you have Prime shipping available, things ship out in like two days. We love that. We always get it. We always renew it. But um, the first thing that I got, and I'll tell you right off, I was super looking forward to these. Um, this is just really coconut. Toasted coconut. But what I was looking forward to is this is actually caramel sea salt and you can tell I've already kind of opened the bag because I had to taste them they are amazing I'm going to order like 15 packs no joke these are the bomb 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 one third of a pack now that's a third of a pack and that's not all like this is not even a third of the pack but a third of the pack um, after you take out your fiber is 13 grams of carbs which isn't too bad, I don't think. Um, these are so good. Like, I could eat these plain, and that would satisfy every craving I have. But, I thought maybe you could grind these and maybe use these as a coconut flour. Or maybe put them in cookies or on top of cakes or just all kinds of things. Like, I haven't even had time to figure out all of the things that I think you can do with these. But, they are so good. Mm. And... The company name is Dang, and I got these on Amazon, but I did see them on Walmart. Walmart.com, you get four packs for $19, and on Amazon, they're like $3 a pack. But, um, these are wonderful. These are wonderful. So, I got two packs. That was like $6. Um, I got this Bob's Red Mill popcorn, because I want, I like popcorn to snack on. And the popcorn I have in my pantry is 22 grams of carbs. This is 19, but 8 are fiber. So that comes out to be 11. So this was... Mm, I want to say this was around $10. And I think I saw this cheaper on Nutrition, but I haven't placed an order on there yet. So... I found a few things actually on Nutrition that were cheaper than Amazon. But for right now, I thought this would be a good snack. And then I got some of the cornstarch because for this big bag it was $3. And I use cornstarch to thicken a lot of things. Um, it does seem to have a lot of carbs. So I will definitely be... Um, well, I don't know. A tablespoon only has seven carbs. And honestly, if you've ever used cornstarch, you don't use a lot of it. So that's not too, too bad. I may put that in um, my Parmesan cheese as a coating when I go to fry something. So this was uh, right around $3. And that's the um, Bob's Red Mill also. My husband likes to drink coffee in the morning. And he usually goes to Tim Hortons. And, um, um, so I saw this and I thought, let's try it out. These were like $3 and, um, I already checked. These only have two carbs for two teaspoons. I would say he probably uses three to four in his coffee. These are creamy chocolate. It's sugar free. Um, so we're going to give that a go and see if he, 
if he likes that, he may be able to put that in um, half and half and maybe make a really creamy hot chocolate. I don't know. That's something we're going to experiment with. But I got two of those. Got the um, reduced sugar um, strawberry um, jelly jam. I have a peanut butter, a low-carb peanut butter recipe, and it calls for a very tiny bit of raspberry jam on top so you can get a peanut butter and jelly cookie. So this will go great with that. You don't even have to measure. You can just squirt. So I'm going to upload that recipe um, probably sometime this week. Okay, so this is sugar-free caramel syrup from Da Vinci, and I actually got this before. I love their raspberry syrup. I don't know why I didn't get it, but I love it in tea. Love it in lots of things. Their raspberry syrup is wonderful, but this is caramel, and um, I'm thinking I may put this in tea. Maybe we'll put this in some desserts. Um, not quite sure. Um, I just honestly wanted to kind of experiment with a few things. And this whole box of Amazon stuff was like not even $50. So it wasn't bad actually. But this is a big bottle. This is 25.4 uh, full ounces. So that's quite a bit. Um, so this was, let's see, all purpose, purpose baking flour. It was gluten free, but I know they're carbs because I actually already checked. That's not helping, is it? Let's see. 22 grams of carbs for a fourth a cup and three grams of fiber. So, this was about $10 too, and I actually found this um, after uh, or before I found the low carb uh, sugar free pancake mix and the carb like biscuit mix. So, I'm not real sure what we we'll use this for since it kind of does seem like it has um, a bit of carbs, but um, I just wanted to try it out. You know, where we're, I'm not new to the low carb diet. I did it um, quite a few years ago. I'm 40 now and I did it when I was like 18. But I had a lot of success with it. So now there's a lot of things that are out that we didn't have access to in the day, back in the day. And so I just got a bunch of things that we could experiment with. Um, this is the sugar free low carb pancake and waffle mix. And I don't think the numbers were really bad on this. Um, nine carbs and four are fiber. That's for a fourth a cup. So I would say that would make a few pancakes a fourth of a cup when you add, you know, egg or whatever else you need to. So that's not too bad for me, I don't think. I think these would be great. Um, I like to take and put a slice of bacon or a slice of sausage and then put the pancake over it so my husband can just kind of carry it uh, to work as like a to-go breakfast. So I was excited to find this. So not bad at all. Oh, I didn't see the carbs right there. 4.4 grams net carbs. So that's not bad. Um, then I found the carbonata um, roasted garlic fettuccine noodles. Now I paid like nine dollars for these through Amazon, and I found them on, I believe it was Netrition for like three dollars a bag. So definitely, if we like them, we won't be getting them from Amazon. Um, I have read the reviews; they're pretty good for one and a half cups. Which, if I mean, that's a lot of pasta. I'm not a pasta person, really. I think it's just the mental. Um, game that it plays knowing that you can't have pasta on low carbs but this is 24 grams of carbs 6 are fiber so 18 for 1.5 cups so we're going to try this um, may make some carbonara not sure but um, the reviews were very good So, but if you like this or if you want to try it definitely I would say you try Netrition even with Netrition it's $5.99 standard shipping this would be you know, right at the same price for Amazon. So we're going to try the noodles and see how those go. And then I was really looking forward to this. I was looking forward to everything, but um, 
this. The Carm Quick Complete Biscuit and Baking Mix. 90% fewer carbs than the leading brand, and I'm saying that's probably Bisquick. This was the restaurant size. It was $13, and I believe I found this, oh, sorry, I found this on Nutrition for like $11, and I paid $13.99 for it on Amazon. So, I'm not sure about the size, though, but um, I think it's the same. So, for a third of a cup, which is more than what was in the Bob's Red Mill flour, so you already get more, is, oh yeah, two grams, wow. So you can do biscuits, you can do pancakes, you can make a chicken pot pie crust. Um, let's see, it says there's some recipes. Mm, carb quick cheddar cheese biscuits. I love Red Lobster's cheddar cheese biscuits. I actually make them homemade. They are so good. Um, waffles. You could probably use this in sausage biscuits and gravy. Here's the turkey, a turkey vegetable pot pie recipe. So, so yeah, we were, I was really excited to get this. So, well, that's everything that we got, um, and this was, like I said, right around $50. So all of these things, like the pasta, the, the low-carb pancake and waffle mix, and the this um, the coconut, you guys have really got to try this out. This is the bomb, and it's so good. Like, I've been eating it while I'm recording, see? But it's just so good. It really is good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This will be good. Just crumbled maybe on, I don't know, a cake, a meringue. There's so many things you can do with, with these coconut chips. And <clears throat> the sugar is coconut sugar. So, that's pretty good. 3.17 ounces in the bag. One ounce was 13 carbs. Yeah. 13 carbs. Sorry if you can't see that. There we go. Thirteen carbs. Alrighty. I love this too. Um vegan, gluten free, no cholesterol, dairy free, good source of fiber, and non GMO. So there's just this is just awesome. I love these. Like I'm really gonna order some more like I've already made for my husband who has a sweet tooth he loves dark chocolate I already made him dark chocolate banana chip cookies with coconut flour and they were the bomb so I can only imagine I can leave the banana chips out and put this in it or on it and those cookies would be less carbs and be probably sweeter so I'm going to try out some recipes and I'll update this later but I wanted to share with you guys this haul um, like I said, there are quite a few things that I found on Nutrition, and most of them were honestly cheaper. At the time, I had not, I didn't know about Nutrition, though. I'm kind of learning, um, these car, low-carb tricks as we go. So, I've been on, uh, YouTube a lot, been on the internet a lot, and, um, I'm really excited about the, uh, peanut butter jelly cookies, and, a couple other recipes that I'm going to try maybe this week after um, class is over and I have more time. But the caramel um, syrup will be good with pancakes. All kinds of stuff. So I wanted to share this with you guys. It's really, really, really fun to uh, to watch all the low carb videos. And I wanted to uh, share this one. So I am going to go eat my coconut in privacy because it's kind of rude to be chomping on video but you guys have a great day i hope you enjoyed this haul and i will talk to you later stay blessed and have a great day